wanted to make this video to compare the new matrix platform to the old axis platform and you know you can get the matrix in in three different configurations you can get the just the base model matrix rmk this is the new replacement uh, for the axis rmk the matrix rmk has the longer snow flap the tunnel is shorter by three inches than the axis it tapers in at the back and it tapers into a nice point. The idea is there that it kind of falls into the track's trench as you're climbing. And then for snow check only orders, you have the matrix slash RMK, which has an even shorter tunnel. So this tunnel is five inches shorter than the matrix RMK. Matrix RMK was three inches shorter than the axis. So the matrix slash RMK is eight inches shorter than the axis RMK. So going back and forth between the axis RMK and the matrix RMK, you can see how much less material there is with this new one piece formed tunnel on the matrix it it's very slim it's very narrow it's got a shorter cooling system the coolant no longer runs the full length of the tunnel which means now you're not going to have uh, warm coolant running through the tunnel melting snow creating ice and causing more snow and ice to freeze and stick to it and which makes your sled heavier overall so by shortening the cooling system and shortening the tunnel in a dry situation They've removed all that weight from the rear end of the sled, keeps the rear end lighter and keeps it from dropping down as you're trying to go through snow, centralizes the mass, but as you ride, the longer you ride, the more snow, the matrix doesn't collect snow and it doesn't freeze up. So you're going to wind up with a lighter sled as the day goes on compared to the axis. So the axis tunnel being uh, kind of long and square as it was, when you would dig down through deep snow, the back square end of that tunnel would act kind of like a rudder and would would catch in on the sidewalls of your trench as the track digs down and dragging and kind of slowing you down as you're trying to go through deep snow. So the idea with one piece formed tunnel on the matrix slash being shorter and being tapered is that it just it fits right inside your track trench. It doesn't hang up. It's not long enough to get hung up as you turn. There's just not anything in the back holding you back anymore. The running boards have been improved. They're a similar design, but they've improved them. They've gotten rid of a lot of the flat area where snow and ice would build up and freeze and then just grow from there. Especially at the front of the running board, there was that flat edge and that would kind of always build up snow right there in front of your toes and you're constantly kicking at that, trying to break it and pop through. Well, now they've they've cleared that out so it just drops straight through. The bodywork on the Matrix RMK is so narrow and so slim. Even compared to the Axis RMK, which already had probably the most slim bodywork out there as far as when you side heel, it doesn't drag in the snow. They've taken that design and they've gotten even slimmer and more streamlined. The Matrix RMK, the seat and the tank, are slimmer and they're moved forward so it's not necessarily a shorty design but they are moved forward so the back of the seat is actually forward a little bit from where the axis RMK was so when you're sling, swinging a leg around it doesn't your foot won't get caught or hit the back of the seat so as you're standing neutral on the sled or you're hopping back and forth over the seat there's just not much in your way that's gonna kinda slow you down as you're jumping around trying to make quick lane choices the axis RMK toehold was just a fixed piece that was built into the overstructure of the chassis. Uh, you couldn't really do anything with it, and a lot of people thought it was a little too low and it, it, your boot could get wedged in there. So the Matrix RMK has a new removable adjustable toehold. It's cast aluminum, and uh, at the lowest position, that's about where the Axis RMK was. Then you can go two positions higher from there, or you can just pull the thing off altogether if you don't really need a toehold. The air intake screens are vertical. They're actually easier to get to and easier to wipe off quickly with your glove. For years, we've been begging Polaris to throw a tether on these sleds. And finally, for 2022, we get this awesome mechanical magnetic tether. So it snaps on. It's a, it's a magnetic interface, so if you get a little bit of snow stuck in there, that's not going to prevent the tether from working. It's a magnetic interface. Speaking of the 7S Play, there's a huge storage area behind the gauge up on top of the hood. Built in, everybody gets one. You don't have to go buy a bag separate just to be able to put a pair of gloves or some goggles in your sled. It's a great move. The handlebars, we do get the Pro Taper bars back in all the same configurations. We finally get this awesome haze brake. It's got such a better lever feel and lever position it's easier to it's easier to one finger the brake and uh, you can move the brake in a little bit farther on the bars to get that finger position just right on the brake lever it's a phenomenal brake Polaris has really done a lot to improve the fit and finish on this matrix RMK the panels snap in nice and tight everything closes everything lines up good and we get cool little accents like these new bar end hooks with the RMK logo and that's a quick look at the 2022 Polaris matrix RMK platform <laughs>